What is the most disgusting secret you're hiding right now? When I was about five I used to prefer cat food to normal food. Now I can't stand the taste of cat food or human food. One morning I couldn't be bothered making my breakfast and a coffee. So I added instant coffee to my cereal, mixed it into the milk and ate coffee cereal. When I was in middle school I was being bullied physically and mentally. Quite bad. My grades dropped and my mom got upset so there was this period of fighting before we got into therapy together. The worst thing I've ever said to my mother was I wish I had been a miscarriage like my older brother. Mom and I are very close now and I'm back in therapy for different issues. I used to lie. Like a lot. I used to make up stories to tell people, just for the sake of it. I don't do it anymore, although this leads me to telling the same stories over and over. I don't trust my partner with money. I've been tracking how much he spends on weed per month and it's a lot I don't know how to bring it up because we are saving for a house but 95% of everything we have so far, is from me, while he spends 500 a month on weed. You already know this, but seriously consider whether or not you want to tie your finances that way with someone who handles money that way. My younger brother used to eat the dog food because he thought it would make him better friends with the dog. We began to leave a bowl out for him next to the dog bowl. When I was 10, I used to dance nude in the balcony after a bath just to piss of my mom. A majority of the time, the voice in my head first thoughts are just really unnecessarily mean, towards myself, but especially others, even those I care about, extremely nitpicky, selfish, rude, etc., thoughts, I don't understand why, sometimes it leaks out into the real world on its really bad days, and I'm just an ass. It makes me feel pretty bad about who I am as a person sometimes. Because I really just want to be a lovely person and think the best about others. And I don't feel like a good one very often because of these thoughts. I guess maybe op meant nasty equals disgusting. But it feels disgusting to me some days. Someone's mom once said, You are not your first thoughts. You are the ones that correct them. We had a candy corn counting contest in like 4th or 5th grade where you guess how many are in the big jar. When no one was looking I carefully took the tape off the top thinking I was going to count them all or something and saw that they had written the total on the inside of the top so, being a genius, I took out about 30 of them, ate the evidence, and put my guess in for the number minus 35 yeah no, so it wouldn't be suspicious if I got it on the nose, not realizing they weren't going to recount them, the winner guessed it within 20 of the number on the bottom of the lid, so basically, I cheated, sabotaged and still lost and I kept all that stupidity to myself for all these years. As a small eye child I ate an old piece of gum from under a bus seat, I'd really like to exchange my mouth for a new one. During lockdown my sister had a meltdown because she thought I had stolen a pair of nail clippers shaped like a foot that she owned. I told her truthfully that I also had a pair and that she had stolen mine. They actually were hers. I found mine an hour later. Rather than tell her, I gave back hers and said if they mean so much to you you can have them. I then hid mine in her bag when she went back home after lockdown. She got there and found the two nail clippers and now believes that she was wrong and that the nail clippers she had a meltdown over were actually mine. In primary school elementary me and my friend saw water dripping from the rooftop on the playground. Without thinking, we'd let it drop into our mouths and drink it. Giggling and excited we'd found our own water source. A teacher caught us and we had to be checked out because it turned out the water was coming from a pipe or something that rats had ran through. When my sister was younger probably around 2 to 4 age range. Whenever she did something I asked her to do I gave her a dog bone as a reward. She never listened when we were younger but as soon as I started giving her dog bone she was a different person it was great. This was almost 20 years ago now and I would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for my meddling mom asking why her breath smelled like dog food randomly. When I was younger, I would steal coins from my parents and when I had enough, I would bring them to my dad and had them changed to paper bills and he would be so proud of me for saving coins that he would buy me ice cream or sweet bread. That last year when I was suspended from work for six months it was due a failed post-accident drug test. I wasn't laid off. 
that I am sat in my office at work, surrounded by a team of socially distanced staff, and I've just sharted, update, managed to crack a window, and spin conference calls out long enough for everyone to go home, it's time go home and shower, then burn this suit, thanks for the concern, it's been, a day, I'm in a lot of debt and it's potentially going to ruin my relationship. I secretly broke a 2,500 euros printer, that is rare and precious. I just fixed it just enough that the second person using it got blamed for this and almost expelled from school. Maybe the person before you did the same thing to you. My one friend has no idea that I've known that he doesn't have kids for months. Also that I know he's been saying this and lying to everyone for attention. He tells a very convincing story. He goes into vague details has a photo of the girl, says that she's been showing him fake paperwork as proof for the children, if what he says is true would be literally extortion, everything, little does he know that I've been watching closely and also researching to find this woman, I know she isn't real and that he's lying and been lying this whole time for almost a year, nothing he says makes sense and it just keeps escalating which also doesn't make sense. I literally couldn't help myself but investigate. If everyone finds out that he's been lying this whole time it will spread like wildfire. He doesn't have many friends and the friends he did have stopped talking to him because of his compulsive lying. I had a friend like that in college. I talked to him about it and while he took it super hard at first, I gave him examples and he broke down. It turns out he had been so severely bullied for his whole life that he had absolutely no confidence in being able to attract and keep people in his life without those lies. It took a lot of time and work on his part and me kindly and patiently reminding him when he slipped on my part. But he changed. I gained a solid friend. As a result of my being willing to stick around and work with him through it, it was a life-changing experience for both of us. As a student with a shitty waitering job paying me almost nothing I used to eat the food my customers didn't want after I took their plates to the kitchen. When my sister and I were little, she would lick her cat because she thought she was helping to clean him. In biology class we were dissecting a pig's eyeball and my hand slipped and the eyeball fell on the floor and me being extremely lazy I kicked it under a cabinet and it lay there for two years until someone finally found it. Uncle confided in me that he stopped taking the medications that are keeping him alive because he can't handle the weight of his life. Currently trying to be there for him as much as I can, but haven't told anyone because I feel like it's his choice, and I'd likely want the same in his situation. He's just worn out and feels like he's done his time, and has already done what he can for the people around him. One time, when I was like 9 or 10, I had to go to the bathroom really badly while my family and I were at a hotel pool. I didn't make it in time, so I sat on the pavement and just shit on the pavement, in my swimsuit. When no one was around I snuck to the bathroom and tried to clean it up the best I could. Never told anyone about that lol. One time I spit my gum into a donation box for kids with autism thinking it was a trash can. I made up a person. When I was in high school, I wanted to sound more popular so I made up a guy friend. He had an incredibly interesting backstory. This went on for years. Well into college. I had the same friend so I couldn't just end the charade. The funny thing is all of these people, my family, my best friend, even my husband believe that they met this man. I never introduced them to anyone, but over the years, they all have different memories of seeing him. Finally, I just sort of phased him out, saying that we grew apart and lost touch. And yet, people will randomly ask me for updates on him. I just give vague answers and watch my husband smirk from across the room. My husband is the only person who knows the truth. I am so ashamed that I will never admit it. That lie was such a dumb thing that snowballed. When I was 8, my 19-year-old cousin tried to make out with me. I remember him rubbing my leg and kissing me in the kitchen whilst my mum was in the living room. I didn't understand what was really happening at the time, but I knew I didn't like it. I kept nervous giggling and pushing him away. After a couple of minutes he looked disappointed and walked away. I don't remember if he ever tried anything else. He was killed in an accident three years later and I chose never to tell anybody as I didn't want to add to my aunt's grief. 
I drew a massive penis on the ceiling in my art classroom probably a meter long and it's been there for years. I asked friends who have brothers and sisters there and they say it's still there. It's been like eight years now.